girls, I am here for my 11, 12, and 13 week update. Um, I'm sorry that it's taken me this long to finally post a video um, and to update you guys on what's been going on. I know I've been kind of staying away from social media for the last week and a half and that is because we moved. We actually moved out of state so um, I can finally tell you guys where we moved to. And we moved to Arizona. We're actually a little bit outside of Phoenix. Um, we're staying with family currently until we can get our apartment and then um, from there we'll just be living on our own. So um, the reason why we moved is so that Dave could make a career change and it's going to be a change that is going to benefit our family for years and years to come. It's definitely what is best for us. Um, back in Michigan Dave worked in the banking business and uh, worked in the banking business and he didn't see himself going very far in that career so he wanted to do something different and something that he's always wanted to do and that is to work with his uncle so um, I'm really proud of him for making this change and doing everything that he's done for us um, I know it wasn't an easy choice for him and it wasn't easy for me either because we did leave um, most of our family and friends behind in Michigan I'm really grateful and thankful for that they are letting us stay here and um, you know, helping us with this opportunity. It's just, it's really amazing and um, I just feel really blessed and really happy that we're here and Arizona is absolutely beautiful. Um, there is definitely no room to be sad or depressed because this place is beautiful and it's, the sun is always shining. It's definitely a different change, a different atmosphere than Michigan, so um, it's just really awesome to see. So. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the baby and um, how I'm doing and symptoms and things I've gone on since I last updated you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I am currently 13 weeks and 5 days. I will be 14 weeks this come, um, this Friday. And the length of the baby is 2.91 inches and the weight of the baby is 0.81 ounces. The baby is also the size of a kiwi and it is starting to make a sucking motion with its mouth and the lungs are beginning to practice breathing. So that was really exciting. Um, we got to see the baby yesterday which I'll be talking about later in this video. Um, and the baby definitely has grown since my 10 week update. So. Um, that was amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my symptoms and things that have been going on. I wanted to apologize for the angle of this video. I know it's kind of like my last one, but um, with packing and everything, um, I can't use my tripod currently, so um, I'm just going to have to hold it here for the time being, and hopefully it's kind of in a good angle and steady. I can't really see because I'm using my tube camera, so um, I hope you guys don't mind. As far as symptoms go, um, nothing... For my 11 week, um, nothing was really different from my 10 week. Um, it, actually, a fun fact, I was actually a week ahead um, than what they thought. So I'm measuring um, 13 weeks and 5 days when I should be measuring 12 weeks and 5 days. Um, so that is why nothing was really different for my 11 week um, update. So that was pretty much the same as my 10 weeks. Found like the end of... 11 weeks, the beginning of 12 weeks, um, my morning sickness was starting to kind of dissipate um, as well as the breast tenderness and the fatigue, which I was really excited for because being tired, sick, and my boobs hurting while we were trying to move was very uncomfortable. I started to have, it, have some more cravings, mostly for fruit um, and salads, and for the fruit I've been craving mostly like peaches. Um, strawberries, watermelon, things like that. Um, salads, I've loved chef salads, house salads, Caesar salad, just any kind of salad is really. Still have a little bit of fatigue. Um, it's usually when I'm, I overdo it as far as like moving around or walking around too much. Um, then I get really tired. The only time that I ever really get sick or get nauseous at all is when I'm not drinking enough water or um, if I go too long without eating. So I try to make sure that I have snacks in between meals or um, I have smaller meals throughout the day so I don't get nauseous. Um, also another really weird thing that I've noticed and I kind of noticed around like the 11, 11 and a half week mark uh, was that I can no longer eat pizza and I was never really a pizza person to begin with because it's full of carbs and it's greasy and it's not good for you. Um, but when we were moving, obviously we, we ate fast food, which wasn't the greatest thing. Um, 
and I noticed that when I eat pizza, I would get sick, and I would get sick from heartburn, um, and it was just, it just wasn't fun. So I'm completely staying away from pizza and anything that's really spicy, um, or, you know, laying down too soon after I eat or something like that. So that I don't get heartburn and end up getting sick because that's no fun. Definitely think I felt the baby move. And this is my fourth pregnancy, so I'm very in tune with my body and um, I know what to look for, especially with my first pregnancy and with Dallas's. Um, so I definitely know that it wasn't gas or anything of that sort, but it definitely felt like flutters or like a fish swimming. Um, that's really the only way I can explain it, but that was really awesome, and I can kind of feel it every now and then, um, especially if I eat something really sweet or drink something really sweet. As far as weight gain, I've only gained maybe like two pounds this entire time, which is really good, especially with moving and eating all of that fast food. Um, I have been trying to be more active now that we're finally to our destination and now that we're in Arizona, so... Um, we've been going in the pool and I've been doing like water aerobics and walking up and down the stairs and just chasing after Dallas, which isn't really hard to do. Um, so I've just been trying to keep my active level up. I, I feel good now that I feel like um, doing yoga or a little bit of activity like walking would be completely fine. Said we did see the baby um, two days ago. 13 weeks and three days that time I actually went into the ER because I was having some cramping and I thought that I might have had like a UTI or something, but it turns out I was just dehydrated, um, which apparently isn't really hard to do while you live in Arizona because it is hot and the sun is so direct, so direct, direct. So if you're outside for too long in the sun and you're sweating, you're not drinking enough water, you will get dehydrated. So um, I do have to drink about half my body weight in ounces of water, and Dave's been really helping me with that, helping me keep track. Um, I'm going to download an app here soon uh, to help me keep better track of that instead of having to write it down and forget where I left it. So um, I definitely want to make sure that I'm drinking enough water for the baby and for me. Um, that's definitely really, really important. Dallas has been really sweet about the baby. He definitely knows that there's a baby, some baby in mommy's belly. We've took him to a couple of my appointments and he's seen the ultrasounds and seen the baby and... He knows that there's a baby in there and he's always so sweet just talking about the baby and kisses my belly and hugs my belly. He's definitely really excited to be a big brother I think and, um, and I know that he's going to be a very very sweet big brother because he's already sweet enough. I am definitely showing now and I know that some of it is probably due to bloat um, but I can definitely tell that my belly is starting to become rounder and um, it's no longer just bloat and loose skin like it was. Um, before I could lay down and my stomach would be completely flat um, and I wouldn't have like that loose, I guess, stretched out skin from being pregnant. Um, now there's no longer, now that's no longer true, I can just lay down and see a little bump, um, which you guys will see. And I actually filmed my belly shot yesterday, um, so you guys will see, um, you guys will see my belly shot from yesterday, but really nothing different from today. We are hoping to find out the gender um, either next week or the following week. Um, I found a really awesome place here in Arizona that offers um, gender ultrasounds, um, guaranteed gender ultrasounds at 14 weeks and 14 weeks and up and um, they do free rechecks if you want to be extra positive or if for some reason they can't determine the gender. Um, they do use a higher resolution imaging machine or ultrasound machine. Um, and there have been a lot of good reviews about this place and a lot of people that have found out around that time. So, um, I'm really excited to be doing that. Um, I will definitely do a gender reveal video and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would really like to do something fun for it to where our families could be involved, um, especially those that are back in Michigan. I know that they are just as excited as we are and just want to know everybody thinks we're having a girl. Um, and as far as gender for us, for Dave and I, honestly, with our history and, you know, everything that we've been through, we would be happy either way and grateful and blessed either way if we have another boy or if we have a girl. Um, gender is not something that, um, it's like a huge deal to us. We're going to love this baby regardless. 
Um, I think it would be really cool if Dallas had a, you know, a little brother to be, to play with, but I also think it would be great to have a daughter and experience that as well. Um, so either way, I would be just as happy. So, um, that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly, and then I will update you, um, probably next Monday or Tuesday after my appointment. And um, hopefully by then we'll already have done the ultrasound um, gender reveal. If not, um, I will definitely keep you guys updated. Um, I will also be doing a fun little series here coming soon, which I'll be talking about more in my next video. Um, but you guys can always follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I do update on there quite quite a bit. Um, I haven't, like I said, lately just because we were moving. Um, but now that we are where we need to be, I will be updating a little bit more. So that is it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.